Now we're going to talk about relaxation and the best way to think about relaxing is to go into a room in the house where there are some things around which look relaxing. Now a nice relaxed vibration very much depends on the things around us. Sometimes a picture on the wall showing skies or seas or perhaps a Bible. But nice things around and nice colors. If you have a room full of bright orange, yellow, active colors, sometimes they react through the body and they make it very difficult for the body to relax. And so, first of all, find a place where you feel you would like to relax. Maybe you would prefer the garden. And if it's a sunny day, then find a nice shady place. The next thing, if you are a very tense person, and if you're indoors, then a nice, warm, luxurious bath will also be very useful and very helpful. If you give the body a nice rub afterwards, then it will bring it to life, but at the same time, it will inside be much more relaxed. Now, when you lie down, just don't plonk down. Just like an animal, when he lies down, snuggles in and finds a nice comfortable way of being aware for a long time when he's sleeping, because animals are also very aware when they do that. So find a nice comfortable place making sure that you can lie in this position for quite a long time. In yoga, it's called the dead position simply because a long time ago, the only people who lay flat on their back with their legs stretched out were people who were dead. So, if a yogi was away from civilization, and perhaps there were all kinds of animals roaming around. If he was in a very high consciousness, he would be very safe. When you are totally relaxed, there is a beautiful smell comes out of your body. The more relaxed you are, the nicer you smell. And so an animal wouldn't notice you even. Or if it did, it wouldn't bother you. So very few people slept flat out and ancient man usually curved up into a little ball as he slept so he could leap up very quickly if in danger. So sometimes the body feels slightly vulnerable because it has maybe past memories, memories of laying in this position for different reasons and we sometimes have to go beyond those memories. Also, there may be memories of sleepless nights in which you lay on your back and couldn't sleep. And so lying down means that you nestle down a little. And then it's important for the whole chakra system that we stretch. Now, stretching is nothing slap hazard. It's something very definite, very beautiful. Most of yoga depends on stretching. And so, lie down and have a good stretch. Stretch legs out, stretch your hands, stretch everything. Bring your hands above the head and stretch. Open your legs out and stretch slightly on the diagonal. But just have a nice, good stretch to the body. Now, once you've stretched a little, things will be easier, but the body sometimes can only find relaxation 
if it's plunged into the opposite 